What a match. Our second quarter final at the European Masters. Judd Trump and Mark Allen normally serve up something memorable. It's happened again. Trump dominated the first half of this match, cruised into a 3 0 lead. It was plain sailing at that stage, but Allen, tenacious as ever, has fought back and has forced a decider. And Trump, I'm sure, thinking about the pink that he had with the rest, it wasn't easy. He missed it by quite a way. But Allen played a couple of excellent snookers. And this is the black he missed when he had a chance to uh, mop up the colours for victory. That was surprising because he just potted a really good red under pressure. And that gave Allen the lifeline he required. And eventually, he made the most of it. So three apiece. Remember, Allen has won their last four meetings. This is their first since 2014. Is he going to snatch defeat from the jewels of victory here joe trump must be worried now well he he had the brown in the last frame he potted the brown and finished absolutely straight on the blue and had he had any angle at all on the blue he could have got to the pink and i think that made a big difference as well although he did have a shot at the pink try trump to break well the crowd are certainly enjoying it Here we go. One frame to determine who will play Chao Yu Peng, conqueror earlier of Mark Williams in tomorrow's European Masters semi finals. And straight away, he leaves the chance for Mark Allen. Oh, where's this going to finish up? Surely there's some damage there. <laughs> Anxious looks from Mark Allen. Is there anything left? Possible plant. But very risky distance between the two balls. The pink, the red next to the pink may cut to the left corner. One thing's for sure, it could have been a lot easier. Not sure if you can see that red. But even if he could, can he get to a colour? Does the pink go to the right middle? Well, he didn't want the kiss on the red. But a snooker here would be a good shot to play. Everything inside him wants to take the brown on. The snooker, not easy. So easy to leave the shot of the green or the brown. Good touch.
looks like a snooker from that angle. <coughs> it's invitingly spread for whoever gets the first real chance here. Well, you could see the red. Wait a minute. Well, again, it could have been worse. But easy to play a good safety. Well, the way he played it wasn't leaving anything easy. Pretty good for the safety. The red closest to the right cushion. May be able to see that one. Well, that was pretty good. He took the risk on hitting the reds on the left side of the table. Let's open things up. Brought the black into play. Dangerous times now. Pink, black and blue available. Oh, he didn't want the angle on the middle pocket. That could be disastrous. Well, again, he didn't hesitate on the long red. It was a very tough pot that Mark Allen took on. It's very much One. in his character to do so. How expensive will his failure to pot it prove to be? Well, immediately playing for the blue. Get the blue back on its spot. Releases the red as well. Black 
to get the black back on its spot as soon as possible. Seven. Choice of pink or black. Pink spot held. So it goes on the black spot, which is not a disaster. Nineteen. Twenty. Important to get the right side of the blue each time he plays up for the blue. The red to the left of the pink would be a good red to play for. Chose to play for the red to the middle. Could play for the black this time round. It would go on the pink spot. Twenty-six. This is the long red that Mark Allen missed. Had he potted it, it'd have been close to the in-off, but that was the worst thing that could have happened to him. Catch in the middle pocket knuckle. Playing for the red next to the pink. Is he on it? 33. Just. 34. Now, you could decide to go into them here. Well, this is a plant on. to the plant. Doesn't need to take it. He's got that red down the right side of the table. Forty one. And that's opened things up. Seven. Uh, I think that shot there was the winning shot. Forty eight. It's been another cracking match between these two, and it came down to just that little bit of luck. Fifty four. Uh, Mark Allen. Catching that middle pocket bump. 55. It was a tough way to lose at the World Open when he missed the final blue off its spot, Alan, in trying to release the final red against Kyron Wilson. He did release the red, but the blue stayed out. Lost 6-5. He never holds back with 62. going for the difficult shot on this occasion. 
63. It's not worked out for him, but that's the key ball for Judd Trump. He's had to work exceptionally hard, a good deal harder than he might have imagined at one stage this afternoon when he led 3-0 and Mark Allen was struggling. Allen putting on a spurt with a century, 69. 76, winning that dramatic sixth frame when Trump missed the final pink with the rest. But Trump has regrouped impressively here. And this break has been exemplary. He was given the chance 70. and he's taken it. And his title defence remains very much on track. Foul. Trump, Trump, 70. Well, there's only 51 left. Okay, then six. The difference, 65. That's enough for Mark Allen. Terrific match. They usually produce something memorable. They've done it again. And Judd Trump will be relieved to have got through. Allen threatening a brilliant comeback from 3-0 behind. But Trump producing the goods in the final frame. A nice cool break to get over the line and move into the semi-finals. Judd Trump beating Mark Allen by four frames to three.